<laughs> I've had an offer on one of my domain names, right? Now. For a dollar. One dollar. But you can't get, you couldn't get it. Uh, what well, I, I bought this domain for about £2.53 quid and that. Wedge fee, right? But it's in the ve it's in the vegan sector, which is at the moment is very 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 hot hot sector, piping hot. And I've got one of the best online shops in the vegan sector domain name, right? Yeah. Someone's offered me a dollar for it. <laughs> it's premium, proper premium, GTLD in the vegan sector. But it's going to go to expiry into an auction. So then the person that wants to me to accept a dollar offer will have to compete with everyone else in this sector. Right? And I must have at least at least eight vegan domain names yeah, in the vegan sector. GTLDs. Which is piping heart sector. Years from now, I'm going to look at these domains <coughs> because they go to a they go to a brokerage, they go to a broker, and at the moment, broker hasn't been able to sell one. Okay, they've got a lot of clients and a lot of better, a lot, of, a lot of better domains than I can't, but if a broker can't sell one domain now. It's like back in the day. Well, this is it. Sales. I can't sell for toffee, which is why I wanted a broker. But a broker should be able to outbound market and sell for 10%, 20% commission on a domain. But they want the top dollar domains at the top. But there's enough brokers in there anyway. Um, but these domains... Oh, I've got another one that's just... Um, it's also in a very hot sector. GTLDs. In a particular hot sector. I've got at least 10 in that sector. GTLDs. And they were valued at, um, some of them are valued at two to three thousand dollars each. So I'm unemployed, right? Yeah. Need a broker, can't get a broker, not what to sell. And um, I shouldn't even need, I only want probably four or five sold, and I wouldn't need to work. I just want to just get inquiries every so often and maintain my portfolio. Right? Didn't make it up. I could just day trade, whatever you. And live van life. I don't know. But see, this is it. I'll, I make vlogs for me, not for anyone else. I'll be able to look at my vlogs that I've made now and see because I'll be able to remember which which GTLs I bought when I mention them. I know what I paid for them, which is next to nothing. 5, 10, 20, 15 quid, if that. I know what they're worth, and, they're wor and what they're worth, they're worth more than what they're worth, yeah. And I'll see them go for sale, and I think I've owned that, so I bought that for, say, 10, 15 quid, and that's sold for 2, 3, 5, 10 grand. And I'll be able to see all this profit that I've actually left behind on the table, because I didn't want to do outbound, mar outbound marketing, because it's not my cup of tea. But some people doing that know how to do out outbound marketing. That's it, it's like 10% is easy, isn't it? 10% <coughs> of um, a free and request. It was 10% of three, five grand. Like five grand, right? Is um, $500, isn't it? A few emails, find a buyer. So, job done, isn't it? Although I don't want to go down that route. I prefer to just be able to find the domain, buy it for five, ten quid, and sit on it. And then I just want someone to say, well, we've sold this for you, we've sold that for you, we've sold this for you. 
It's a bit like having 20, 30, 50 houses, I suppose, for those that have got them. And just say, I don't want to sell any of the houses, but if you get an offer that is, reflects a good return on investment, let me know and I'll decide whether I want to sell it or not. This house or whatever that house, yeah. That's where I want my domains, just like. But at the moment, because brokers are that hard to find that want to just take on anything, they want the top cream at the top. They don't want to bother with it. It's like brokers only want to sell mansions, not flats. Yeah. But flats need selling too, houses need selling too. Not only just mansions. But there's not enough brokers in the industry to do that. Eventually, you're, you're going to see domain name brokers who are high street shops. Because they're going to be the only people that can afford to buy, to rent the shops. And, um, which almost needs to happen. Domain name brokers need to actually have a shop in the high street. Um, that's a whole different news, different subject. But, um, looking at the time on the other videos, I don't think that's the best data so that's the main names for you it's just like it's a it's, an, it's a new domain names and domain name brokers domain name brokers are like estate agents or digital land and domain name investors as other people with the land yeah and tech giants want the domain names for their new projects and concepts which is why they use domain name brokers to get the domain for them, or acquire it for them, at a price they're prepared to pay. But most people don't understand, can't liquidate their domains. A bit like Bitcoin in 2010. There was a bout, but you couldn't liquidate them for anything. They weren't worth anything. Whereas domain names now, in the next three, five years, are going to actually soar in value. Because the new GTLDs now have been about for eight years. And you can start seeing a lot more new GTLDs. On, on the back of vans and businesses and all sorts, yeah. And then there, there will almost be like, um, uh, what's in the time I've <coughs> There will almost be like, um, like you had the phone book years ago. You have a website address book and all the website addresses, just just purely of website addresses. And it won't be very long before you start seeing page page adverts of website addresses in the paper. That's that's about a year off, probably a couple of years off, but that will happen. And then the public will see then the prices of what website addresses are worth. So they know that when they want to buy a website, what sort of money they, they've got a budget for. Like this morning I saw um, two, a two letter, I can't, I saw a couple of them. That's not a code. Uh, but that's got make offer. <coughs> Most people outside the domain name industry wouldn't know what to offer. A two letter .com, you should be looking at making your first offer at about a million pounds. Because there's only 476 in the world, and many are already businesses. So to get a two letter at home is rare, and there's a lot of people that want to pay at least half a million pound plus for. <coughs> there's a five letter word now, dot com, which should have been bought by it's in the health industry. It's got make it's got um you can buy it. It's a, it's a one it's one and a half million, right? Which is cheap. Yeah. I think that's it. There's um. No, that's for sale, but there's another one, which is one and a half million. But you can buy it, and you pay £150 a month. You're paying £125 grand a month to buy it. £125,000 a month to buy a website address. But you can do it now. You can lease website addresses. You can rent my website addresses. But most people don't, know, don't, don't understand that. So when I waffle about website addresses, 